Welcome everybody to this new video to Express. Let's take a look into how we can get started with the Shopify payments in just five minutes. So the very first thing you wanted to do is to make sure that you are currently based into into a country that enables the Shopify payments. I'm going to open any tab. I'm going to go for Shopify payments to countries. And it's going to be showing me the list of the supported country for the Shopify payments. Now, this actual section, this article is constantly being updated. So you wanted to make sure that you have exactly checked it out directly. So in this case, the bank and account requirements for the Shopify payments are the actual following list. So what you wanted to make sure is that your country is eligible for this actual Shopify payments. If your country is not available in here, then I believe this one is not going to be available yet into your country. So check out this actual website that we have just created, this online store. And I'm going to head down to my settings. And here, as you can see, we are into Mexico City. So that means if I go directly into my payments, you can see that the payments does not have the actual Shopify payments. So this is not a real address, but what you wanted to do is to make sure that you have an actual real billing information inside the United States. So you are willing to receive the Shopify payments. If I enable on billing information, I go directly into my payments and choose the Shopify payments. If I go for activate the Shopify payments, it's going to be sending me directly in here. Now, how can we activate this Shopify payments? To get paid for yourself, what you need to do is to provide information of your business and its ownership. Really, really important. Let's go here into the business type. And let's say, for example, that we are individual. Now, here's going to be asking you for the employer identification number, your street address, the city, the zip code, the state, your first, your last name, your date of birth, all the information provided from as a non-citizen, all the information provided to verify your identity and the product details. Now here's going to be asking you about the product details. It's going to be showing you what is the business category you're actually selling. In our case, what you wanted to do is to focus on clothing and accessories. The business subject, for example, let's say clothing rental or men's and body clothing, uh, all the clothing and accessories or clothing and, and all of that. So uh, description of the product service, what you wanted to do is to tell them exactly what do you sell and how do you sell it? And there we go. Next thing is the customer billing statement. This is the way you can change the store name and the phone number appears into your customer bank statement. So when somebody make a pop chase, I can delete this and I can be only appearing at SP Milk. This is the name of my actual store. You want to import, of course, the phone number and lastly, the local currencies. Now we can use the local currencies just in case you want to get paid, of course, into your local currency that you have enabled and the store that uses locally currently have the 7% higher international sales of the average. So with that being said, go for submit to verification. And sometimes it might be taking up to one hour. Sometimes it might be taking up to 48 hours. That is totally depending on what is the actual element that you choose for enabling the Shopify payments. After you make the actual submission, if you go directly into your payment, the Shopify payments should be enabled right away. So you can actually now check out the conversion with Shopify, the ease of chargeback management and the payout and the cash flow tracking. You can see that now into your actual website, you have enabled all the stuff that are created for the Shopify payments. And there you have it guys. It is not that hard to complete the provider setup. So lastly, what you want to do is to before making your online store live, Shopify provides a test mode that allows you to simulate transactions without actually money changing hands. You can confirm that the payment process is smooth and error free. If I go back here, what you want to do is to go directly into the manager of the Shopify here, go all the way down and enable the element that says test mode. So we can simulate successful and failed transactions. So enabled it, and then you're actually good to go. If your country is not available here into the requirements of the Shopify payments, you don't have to be this correct because there is another option just in case Shopify is not available into your website. For example, in my case, I can scroll all my way down, choose another provider, and you can see the third party payment providers. This one automatically is going to be the updated depending on where you're actually currently at. So what you want to do is to use a real billing address inside the store details. Then later on inside here, the third party payment providers, choose this option so you can filter only the payment details you wanted to accept 
inside your store. For example, I only want to accept Apple Pay, I only want to accept Google Pay, and that is it. So that means that in my case, in my country, the best solution for me is Earn Wallex or Aiden Payments. So what you just need to do is just to select the element that you have here and to install the provider so you can create an account and make the verification process and then you're actually good to go. So there you have it guys. How we can enable the Shopify payments and its alternatives. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. Hopefully this was a very uh, important solution for you. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully we can all see you guys next time.